Medical practitioners, doctors, pregnant women who have the medication for their own use with a prescription and still have it. The Mexican president, Andrés Manuel López Obrador, has said an investigation will be launched into the collapse of a stage in the northern state of Nueva León during an election campaign rally on Wednesday. At least nine people, including a child, died. More than 120 others were injured when the structure came down in strong winds. This is the latest world news from the BBC. South Korea has imposed sanctions on seven North Korean individuals and two Russian ships, accusing them of trading in weapons and fuel in violation of United Nations resolutions. Both Pyongyang and Moscow have denied reports that North Korea is supplying weapons to Russia for use in its war against Ukraine. The United States is reviewing its ties with Georgia because of a contentious law that triggered huge protests in the capital of Tbilisi. Washington said visa restrictions were being introduced for people who had undermined democracy. The measures are thought to apply to members of the governing Georgian Dream Party. Police in Colombia have arrested an Italian man who claims to be an heir of the late former Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi. Colombian authorities accuse 55-year-old Marco Dinizio of forgery and document irregularities. The Italian prosecutor's office said he'd forged Mr. Berlusconi's will. The point of the document, Mr. Denuncio was supposed to inherit more than $28 million, a yacht, two villas in the Caribbean, and 2% of Mr. Berlusconi's company. Here's Cynthia Sala. He claimed that he was friends with Cinco Berlusconi, and he also produced some documents to prove that the late former Italian Prime Minister had actually travelled to Colombia. Because authorities in Italy have questioned the fact that Mr. Berlusconi's name didn't turn up in Colombia's border registries and Mr. Denuncio says it's because Mr. Berlusconi traveled to Colombia aboard a fishing boat. A Peruvian congressman has admitted that a bill he presented to Parliament earlier this week was drawn up using artificial intelligence. Paul Gutierrez from the left-wing party Bloc Magistrado was criticized when it emerged that parts of the draft legislation were copied and pasted from the responses generated by an AI chatbot. Even so much. Thank you, News. Hello, and welcome to News Day on the BBC World Service with Victoria Wunhunda and James Codman. For the program today, a senior UN official says Sudan is at serious risk of genocide and names names. You can tell us your reaction to this by WhatsApp with text message on our usual number, plus four four. 77862055. We also hear from a prominent Kenyan critic of President Ruto's plan to send Kenyan police officers to quell violence in Haiti. And we have sports and business too. In a moment, we are going to hear from the United Nations Special Advisor on the Prevention of Genocide talking about Sudan.